This video is about how to run CoLab on CoCalc. Yes, that's right. There's a lot of co's in that sentence. But CoLab is a hosted notebook service from Google, which um, used to be collaborative, but isn't collaborative anymore. But it has some really cool features like an amazing software stack. For example, both PyTorch and TensorFlow are installed into the same environment and fully support GPUs. And that's actually kind of tricky to do. So a really cool thing that the CoLab developers like Craig Citra do is that they make the CoLab image, the exact environment that runs, available via a Docker image for anyone to download. And what I've done is I've made it so that that exact image is available in CoCalc with a GPU. So I'm gonna show you how to use that today. So I'm at cocalc.com. I'm going to click on my projects and I'll use this demo project and a little file there, get rid of that. Okay, I'll use this demo project and I'll show you how to use CoLab. So there's two ways. One, you can just make a Jupyter Notebook. So demo one, Jupyter Notebook. And we have a CoLab installation. So it's just a Python environment in which the exact same packages, or at least as close as we could get, are pre-installed. So that's this environment. So just to kind of illustrate the amazing nature of CoLab, um, I'm going to import both TensorFlow and PyTorch. So notice here it's starting up. It's now running, importing TensorFlow, and now, in a moment, PyTorch. So this is one way in which we'll use CoLab. The second way that you can use CoLab in CoCalc is via compute servers. So if we click this button off to the left, I'll start explaining that. So here, if you click the Create Compute Server button, which we'll do in a moment, we can make a compute server and we'll be able to choose um, from a wide range of GPUs and other machine types around the world, and then we'll be able to set the um, CoLab image going. But we'll do that in just a moment after we've loaded both TensorFlow and PyTorch into a single environment. So TensorFlow loaded, and now PyTorch loaded. And uh, let's just check that we do not have a GPU in each case. Torch.cuda is available. False, right? And then with TensorFlow, I can't remember. Um, how, uh, show whether or not a GPU is available in TensorFlow. I don't remember how to do it, so I'm just asking ChatGPT to generate the code to do that. And there we are. And again, it doesn't list any devices. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make a compute server. So you just go to the left and click on server, and then we're going to make a new one. And our new compute server is going to be a CoLab image with a GPU. And let's just choose a T4 since it's nice and affordable. And let's choose the CoLab image. Notice, by the way, there's a CUDA dev environment, PyTorch image, which is the official one from Meta. There's a TensorFlow image, which is an official one from Google. And there's also an Olama image that has Olama with the web UI all set up with authentication. But let's choose Google Colab. And let's see, it looks like the cost is going to be 15 cents per hour. And let's just start it up. Okay, so it's now going to provision our T4 GPU. And note again that the cost, once it's running, will be 15 cents per hour. So you heard that right, it's 15 cents per hour, not a dollar an hour, not $2 an hour, like you'll often find with um, cloud-hosted GPU services. Move it over to the CoLab server. So we still have to wait for it to start up, but it will in the next few seconds, I hope. Typically, it does take about a minute for a machine on Google Cloud with a GPU to boot up. It could be a lot longer if you have a whole bunch of GPUs, etc. So once it boots up, it also has to start up the um, Docker container with CoLab on it. 
All right, we're now up and running. And turns out instead of calling a collab in the collab image, it's just called Python 3. So there we are. We're going to start up our kernel running and um, import TensorFlow and import PyTorch. So this will take just a second. By the way, we can get a terminal and look at what's going on on this machine. So it's very easy in CoCalc to get a command line terminal on your machine, on your compute server. So here we are. I can type NVIDIA SMI and I'll see that we have a Tesla T4. And notice, by the way, TensorFlow and PyTorch are there. Now let's see if a GP is detected. Yes, it is. And now let's also check with TensorFlow. Yes, it is. So notice we now have both PyTor uh, yeah, PyTorch and TensorFlow running together with GPUs and everything's working. It would also be nice to just see a list of all the packages that are installed. So you can do any shell commands pip list. And here we go. So you can see all of the packages that are installed. All right, I hope you um, enjoy having the ability to use Colab and switch back and forth from the official Colab Jupyter Notebook to possibly the CoCalc hosted uh, version of the Colab environment. Thanks.